So hello everyone, so I'm getting plagued to get some footage by Paul Madison. Yes, this one's going to be for you. Um, I've put this together, this is just purely for illustration at the moment, because this battery is as flat as they come. I don't know if anyone else has got a problem with these, but even though that this is supposedly fully charged, it's been on charge for 12 hours, it's not powering up. So I'm going to use a power supply, an independent one, because I'm out of batteries at the moment. So. Just to run through, so in here I've got my board camera, got your power supply onto your battery pack, RCA connector. So anyone who uh, quite likes the old combination of the Angel Eye DVR or even the uh, cheapy cheapy version, this Paul, you'll recognise this is one of the cables that you supply me with the nice little uh, right angled connector. So that all works. So what we're going to do, I've already had some footage. Of the daytime uh, I'm just going to um, fire some stuff down the bottom of the garden um, unfortunately there's nothing actual rabbit or rat wise that I can go out and shoot at the moment just time has been nuts I don't know whether you can hear in the background but I've got basically had my printer on full chat uh, printing these things off for the past four or five days so and on top of that I've got work uh, commitments etc etc so apologies I know that people want to get, see the footage and I do want to get out and uh, I'm going to try and make a concerted effort um, if any of you do live close to Newbury in Berkshire in the UK please get in touch uh, just let me know and I'm quite happy to turn up and you know let you have a crack with um, this for a bit of a trial and so I can get some footage uh, just so I can show you exactly what this can do. So anyway, I'm going to put a little target down at the bottom of the garden so we can do some zooming in on the image and uh, just showing on how clear this will be. But essentially that's what you'll get. So you'll get a, a 3D printed tube. This will all be wired up with the board camera inside with a 16mm lens. The IR is removed. Um, just a heads up, whilst this screen, uh, I don't know whether you can see here, I've modified this slightly so it's got a red um, filter over it to help with um, the reflection onto your face. But apart from that, that's it. So um, let's show what it can do. Oh, and finally, sorry, must mention, this is a, an IR torch supplied by Ian Cyril of IR Light Builds on Facebook. Highly recommend this guy. He's quite well renowned on the night vision builders group so if you are asking for a torch there you go a little bit of a free plug if it wasn't hidden partly but he, he, he knows his stuff so if you're after a quality torch and get the job done you go for Ian's torches and uh, you'll you'll see that the quality is you know as good as I'm making out so anyway further ado let's get some footage thanks Hello folks, so I've been asked to get some footage of the new 3D printed kit, so you've just seen that a bit of a walk around, so I've got my power supply, that's being powered by the mains at the moment, not a battery, but needless to say the, the snow should be the same. So what I've got at the moment, I've got a target, which is approximately 30 metres down my back garden, just zoom in there. I'm a daily mail reader. Woo! So, let's put some shots down. So I've got an 8-shot magazine filled with RWS Superfield. And let's fire all eight. Helps if you take safety off. Right, better get this uploaded.
because I can't now use the shooting stance that I've got below because I've got poo. Put a hole in that. You can see with this, even though I've got the infrared filter off, there's a slight change in colour. And for those who, uh, when they get this camera kit, just be blindfold, sometimes if you zoom in, depending on the scope, you still will have to adjust your focus on your scope. If you've got a fixed focus scope, this is probably not going to be as good as you anticipated, but we'll probably talk about that beforehand. There you go, so there's some night vision day footage. <laughs>